Hello guys, welcome back to The Witcher 3. So, let's continue for this uh, cat school gear. And I just noticed there's a horse rider over here. Probably just a bandit. Yeah. Oh, you're fucked. Uh oh. Ah! Eh, uh, sure. So is there any other question marks out here we should do before heading back? Uh, probably a ton up here. I would su Yeah, I would guess since they put in buildings and stuff. Uh, hmm. Where's the next bit? Oh right, Drahim Castle. Yeah, let's go, let's go and finish this. Now we have a, uh, what do you call it, the uh, fast travel marker over here. Okay, uh -huh. Tram Castle, prop, 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 there we go. Castle and castle, <laughs> a tower. Hmm. Need to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Ah, oh, it's probably below. I'm a bandit. Whoops. Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to do that, but oh well. Oh. Superior Devil Puffball. Uh, oh, there's something up here. Something? Or was it outside? It did seem like it was outside. Ah, these bandits. Would you just go away? Oh, what was that? Peasants? Oh, probably. Come on. And that dude left. Okay. Yeah, yeah, relax. Oh, there is something here. Hmm. I want to look around some. Hmm. Oh, wait, what? Can we crawl this? Oh. Uh, hmm. Hmm, nothing. Thing. Huh. Hmm. What? Hmm. Nothing. Probably upstairs, right? I just thought we had been here, but maybe not. Oops. No, probably not. Uh, okay. Well, we had been here for some kind of quest with the noon raid, right? But I guess we didn't look up into the tower. Into tower. Which they call it, <laughs> Drum Castle. 
Maybe it, it wants, wants a castle, just, just the ruins of it. That's entirely possible. There's again. Ah. Hmm. No. Nothing. I'm confused. To be honest. Missing. Mm. Oh, wait, what? I thought we had been down here. Now I'm really confused. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Since Adrian's journal, Kian performed wonderfully. It's a shame, of course, that Professor Glogan disappeared somewhere in the ruins of Est Tayan along with the rest of the Elven diagrams. But these, but those sketches for a steel sword alone are worth as much as a village in southern Redania. We split the taggings equally, as per our agreement. I kept the diagram for the silver sword, while Kian took the crossbow diagram. I must admit, I didn't re exactly need every member of the expedition's head preserved in Vinagar. But they do constitute impressive proof of Kian's conscientious what <laughs> and professionalism. The witches swore none of the archaeologists would leave Estaya alive, and none did. All the more shame that then that Kian didn't accept any of my offer. As my personal bodyguard, he would never have wanted for a thing. Steady pay, caviar and strawberries for breakfast, lobster for lunch, daily baths, a court surgeon, and courtesans of both sexes for all his needs. And if he still lacked for anything, he had but to knock on my chamber door. He must very much love all the trudging around the world, because I do not believe Jacob of Dembich could have dangled a better offer than I did. Really now, Jacob of Dembich, a second-rate captain transporting whores to dockside Novigrad pimps for fistful crowns. With any luck, sooner or later a stone will sink that leaky top of his and Kieran will turn to me, tail between his legs. Yada yada, scrubbed, waxing, blade oil, yada yada, devil puffballs, contortions, ink visibly fresher than previous entries, many years must have passed. I have heard the flying deer, the vessel of which Kieran was sailing, wrecked off the coast of Grassy Knolls. Was it my curse? Hmm, not bad for a beginner. Perhaps you'll think about enrolling a ban art. Hmm. Okay. This castle must have been bigger at some point. <laughs> Uh, up we go. Yeah. Uh, right. Slow yourself. Oh, <laughs> off with your torso! Damn. All right. Um, did I just start recording? No, I'm. Mm, yes. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Quests. Could continue with the main quest. It's only level 11, so we are a bit... Eh, well, a bit ahead. Uh, following the thread. Right. In keep Stefan. Haunted house. Visit the haunted house again. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Talk with that gardening again. Sarah, here, let's go to Tretagor Gate. Witcher, I know who burnt the hunter's quarters down. Don't worry, though, I don't like them goat powers either. It's raining again. It's 
raining again. Where was it? In here, I think. Well, you wanted braids. But I didn't want my hair pulled. Can't have one without the other. Then I don't want them. Up or down? Up. Witcher, Witcher. Kareen, look who's come. Huh. Live here together now? Didn't know. Once you told me Sarah had been responsible for my nightmares, I decided to see if the devil's as scary as they paint him, or her. I came in to find not a fiend, but our little Sarah. And I can't say why, but we took a liking to one another immediately. Long ago, to isolate themselves from a world of beasts, humans began building cities. But since beasts prowl within stone walls as well as they do hmm. outside them, this? this did not allay human fears. The truth is, walls guarantee no one's safety. The place where you lock yourself in and lock all else out, that's not your home. Your home is sometimes a place you travel long and far to find. Okay, was that the quest? Yes. yes. Good. Oh, okay. Hmm. Ah. Oh. <laughs> nice drop, Gerald. 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 Not Gerald. Gerald. Okay. Uh, that was a cute little quest. Sure, let's do this. Rosemary and Thyme. Where the hell is that? E oh, down here. Damn this weather. Mm. Oh, man, always got it uphill. Okay. I never come back, you stinking stadges. Salt we what it was. Don't give a flying fuck what you wanted. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your arse till you've toes for teeth. <laughs> I remember him, I think, from Witcher 2. He's also in, in, in our deck. Gwent deck. Gear out in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local colour. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Mmm, fist fight. Yes. Stop walking into his soul! Not too late to surrender. Does he have an axe? Of yeah. yeah, almost like we never left the bird. Off you go. I'm pleased. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian lagers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. Uh, eh, sure. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem then. 
Uh, where is Dandelion? Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. Not just barely returned, as you saw. I'm expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale, and what do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Mm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Okay. Hmm. Oh, something is shine. Oh, uh, doot. Letter from Fran. Uh, when will you go to Cedaris? I hope it will be soon, for I miss you terribly. When to see you again literally pains me. If you if you are to come, send me a message before hand. I'll ask my mistress mistress for a day off. Oh, <laughs> his whore. Friends. Aha! A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my soul yielding cobs. Here we go, probably. Hmm. Ten barrels of Tucson dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. Oh. <laughs> it says planner. Uh, that's rich. Uh, dandelion in planning is starting to look like a man serious about his business. Seems Dandelion's taking the tavern business seriously. If you only knew. Gives it everything. No seen him this obsessed ever. Mm. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late. The dog. Uh, that could help. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you yeah. Need to do a wee bit of tidying before I go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Okay, read Dandelion's Planner. Is that in my inventory? Yes. Okay. Molly, Rosa, Molly, Vespula, Marabella, I. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dandelion. Still here, looking for something. Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hauled something off the morning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Uh, Molly. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly. Keeps things tidy for the Baroness of Alight. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects. Examines it from all perspectives. Marabella. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. 
referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh, truly perverse. You did not get half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's a fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. <laughs> Vespula. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Uh, Rosa van va atre. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf? Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa van atre deemed her here. Well chosen, eh? Eh? All right, <laughs> but Varatra, her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador. Yes, you know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we Rosa preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? Well, then one it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire her next victim. I mean, instructor. Okay, Elihal. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka straight up. Hmm. Uh, know all I want to know. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Uh, right. Loot. Loot. Mm. Loot. Ooh. The thrust of your hypnotic gaze left my visage red and hot. The whole world suddenly set to spinning in a whirlwind of oblivion, and I plunge into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. The music, the singing, you. For that one brief moment, I felt as if I were the lute you so skillfully strummed, and wanted nothing more than for you to put your dexterous digits on my soul's yawning chords. Damn. Excuse me. Okay, hmm. there's upstairs, there is... no downstairs? Hmm. We have our own little chest over here. Interesting. Okay. This the faculty of Oxenford University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letnov, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Hmm. It seems like there's a basement. Hmm, maybe not. Let's look upstairs for the lols before moving on to find these beautiful ladies. Gate of the High Rock. Okay. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, a dead what possum? <laughs> oh, rats. Nasty. Normal loot here, that's fine. Hmm, Gwent cards. Okay. 
Onwards we go. Let's take down here before we go up. Okay, more Gwent cards, nothing we can loot. Let's go up. probably opened up later. I bet you can we can like sorta like, tidy this place up. Right. Let's see. Uh, okay we have a bunch of ladies. Uh, hmm. You can learn a great deal. There's also a question mark down here. Down here, yeah. Read, what's this? Laundry, okay. Julia, find you a great I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you all are in for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Uh, Vespula costs new protection. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go. Now. Now listen. You might have two swords, but there's four of us. Yeah. Four men collecting tribute from one washerwoman. Don't think I have much to fear. Best think again. Pathetic. Okay, maybe this was not a good Covered idea. In blood, all of it. So much work for naught. No need to thank me. It was nothing. Sorry. Well, don't get me wrong. I'm grateful, but for everything I had, I just lost. Hey, the axe will come off. Relax. It'll come out in the wash. Of course it will. Just got to soak it in white vinegar. But that's not my point. Junior shan't forgive me. Either I'll close up shop myself or he'll burn me down. Sorry, didn't think about that. A woman's lot. Men have their fun and we're stuck with a mess. Oh well, I suppose I must move to Oxenfurt. Professors need clean undergarments too. Hey, need to ask you about Dandelion. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out. Through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And... No more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Hey, uh, Dandelion asked you about other washerwomen? Uh, Dandelion asked you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. Hmm. Who was he with in Harborside? This woman he was with in the harbor. Who was she? 
claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Course it so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a Oh, it might be Siri. Doesn't much matter as the one in the same. Thanks, good luck. Thanks for your help. Too bad about your store. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. Here or Oxenford? <laughs> hmm. Oh. Maybe I should have just paid, but of these dudes, 200 gold, but uh, it just seems a lot of money. Do feel bad for people in game <laughs> if they're good people in general. Uh. Oh, there was a question mark over here. Ooh. Yes. Yoink! 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 Another woman over here. Yes. Welcome, welcome. Do no. come in. Oh, it's a male elf. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Ellie Hal. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something short. -end. Oh, he's to both Patch sides. Trousers, Dandelion. Dandelion. <laughs> You, Eliel? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought... Thought Eliel was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Oh, so it's that. Wait here. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Any better? <laughs> so you're... Eliel. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. Uh, And then... What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at. But I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Okay. Hey, why are you dressed that way? I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Mm. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a dockside thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. <laughs> uh, what did you and Dandelion talk about? What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Mm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Huh. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently. Burned him at the stake oh. in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on impresses. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. When you last see Dandelion? Dandelion visit your shop often? 
I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Hmm. All right. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. All right. Um. Okay. Marabella. Where is that? Marabella. She is. Okay, they're all up there. Mm, we could go and take the fast travel to St. George's Bridge. Zip. Mm, here. Okay, let's see. Uh, yes. What's here. he doing here? What? None of your business, mate. Oh, that's pretty. Just a bit more and I'll drop this job. Damn. High end uh, brothel? Got a snake's time as well. Takes the pains all the way to the garden. What, did you catch him? No luck. Driving in slippery, the bugger, as quick as a tomcat. Scrambled out the hole in the back wall. It sounds like you might have been an acrobat. Wait, that's still the Guardians. So. Oh, right. Uh, the Ambassadors. What do you want? Uh, I'm the new cook. <laughs> I'm the new salt play instructor. Oh, right. Rosavar Atra is expecting me. Supposed to give her lessons in sword play. Come with me. Miss Rosa awaits. I hope you realize what you've got yourself into. Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy when. Grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt the little miss, or you'll earn the ambassador's ire. Follow me. Yes. You're my new instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood, to start with. I must know your worth. Mm We have to hurt her. Oops. Stop Come on, get closer. That's oh, whirling. She has a spirit. This little one. What? Oh, damn. Damn it. Well fought. You're much better than the last one. I'm not actually your sword play instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Yay, God let me in. I'm a witcher, you're in business. I'm a witcher. I'm looking f A witcher? That's splendid. I always wanted to meet a witcher. This is so exciting. Eh, uh, what's ex exciting about it? Uh, what's so exciting about it? Living on the edge. Tracking, then facing down beasts. Sleeping under the stars. Oh, it must be wonderful. Hmm. Try fighting a zoogle while up to your neck in sewage. Nothing quite like it. Not one of the high points, I suppose. Wait, weren't you about to ask me something? 
Uh, you're not bad with the sword. Before I ask, gotta admit, you do pretty well with a sword. One pointer. Don't expose your left flank when you dodge. Oh, I know. Terrible habit. Can't seem to get rid of it. I'd hope to find someone in Novigrad who could help me to do so. But... Don't you dare try to dazzle me with advice. Already admitted you're not here to give me lessons. Okay, need to ask you about Dandelion. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the Bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Show me what you got. Shot. Ah, a little three strikes. to kill her uh. oh <laughs> damn it she got mad <laughs> well if you're not an instructor you should certainly be one fancy giving me a few private lessons eh uh, okay can't rightly refuse a request from a lady what are you two lovebirds whispering about you asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind. Edna Var Artra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Uh, not sure I understand. Sorry, you lost me. You're not the first to be confused. I'll explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you oh, know twins. that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Easy, ladies. Calm down, ladies. No poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen. I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Uh, interested in politics? Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? Uh, uh, Emperor and his cohorts must be ecstatic. Emperor continuing to push north. Courtiers must be ecstatic. His confidants must be. But Papa says that's not likely to last much longer. Why not? Papa says the war's disrupting trade, and people are tired of financing the Emperor's adventures. Hmm. Wonder how's the war. I wonder how the war's going. Wonder how the war is going. Any outcome looming? Papa says much depends on Radovid, and on who captures Novigrad first. What's Novigrad got to do with it? Free city. Never taken sides. Always stayed out of conflicts. Oh, even children know Novigrad's home to the world's largest fleet. And they say the city's treasury's bursting with enough to equip two armies. Hmm. I wanted to ask about something else. Changing subjects. Dandelion acts strangely lately? Dandelion act any different lately? 
Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna, what? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. Hmm. A dandelion. Whose talents did he praise? Who dandelions sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. But who knows? The bard might have invented her just to make us jealous. Pitiful chorister. I'd say it worked. You've gone all red in the face just talking about it. Your face will be red when I scratch your eyes out. Uh, I should go. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well? Can I expect any more lessons in future? Yeah, sure. Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. House here, tomorrow. Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. He still got it, that old fox. So how do we get out from Nilfgaard Ambassador House here? Can I just go out, in and out of this place now? Hmm. Let me just check how long time we played. Uh, okay, still another 10 minutes or something. Hmm. Do it yourself. Report. His Imperial Majesty Emir van Emrys, Emperor of Nilfgaard. Since the time of my last report, remarkably swift progress has been made and sentiment in the city has crystallized. As if anyone previously believed the ongoing war did not concern the free city, not a single resident, no doubt the further course of the conflict will be determined within its walls. Our agents have confirmed earlier reports contending that King Aradovit has important plans for Novigrad. And lately we have observed an increase in his agent's activity as well as the spread of his propaganda. His prime objective seems to be the siege of the wealth held by the Church of the Eternal Fire. Yet, though Hierarch Hemelfart officially rules the city, true power is in the hands of the local crime lords. I, re I recommend the Emperor's agents focus further activity in that direction. Henry van Atre, by the decree of his Ma Imperial Majesty, Ambassador, yada yada yada. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Yes, crawl up to the... on the... the um, stool chair. Okay. The horse whistler. She who knows. Yada yada yada. Okay. 
someone over here? <laughs> I have to go down. Mm -hmm. Wait, what the s- Horson something. Right, the criminal dudes. Hello? Excuse me, I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside, class is in session. Fine, I'll wait. The class I'll in the wait. middle of the night. It won't take long. Turns out, he'll not come after all. Waiting for the kids to leave, I guess. This boy's got a fever. I've got a monster under me bed. Will you help? <laughs> for a price. Not her. Oh. Not her. My uncle's in the circle. Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems. No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. Hmm. Uh, he wrote a poem about you. Found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Horses have always fascinated me. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did oh, she was the one that made record? him dress up like a stallion or something. Exercises, <laughs> true, but I think I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Uh, no, no, didn't see any. Gee up. A snakely whip rose skyward. Jiho crack! She reined the beast in. The stallion danced betwixt her thighs. Lava bathed its chinny chin chin. Sorry, don't know much about poetry. <laughs> See him later? See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Farewell. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Not much help, though. Molly. What's this over here? Bring your children to Maribel's School for Tots. Oh, right. We, I remember this poster. Hey. Mom? Why aren't you in bed? Oh, you kids. Oh. Where's the last one? Okay, up there. Mm, up the stairs again, I suppose. I like rain. Keeps the rogues indoors. Notice board. Uh, nothing. No contract. Okay, let's oh, let's save before going over here. Lavalette. Hmm, Lavalette. I remember that name from Witcher 2. The siege at, at the beginning. This baronet's Lavalette's villa. Shouldn't interest you. The baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is riding now. Be gone. Hmm. Greetings, Witcher. 
Must admit it's curious oh, to see I remember you him. here. I don't quite believe in coincidences. Geralt of Rivia, slayer of monsters, and my son. You're right, General. My visit's no accident. I'm looking for someone. There's no one here who wishes to see you. Captain, this man is not to enter. Forgive me, Morvran, but I've lost my appetite for the races. Kill a woman's son and appear at her doorstep? My, my. I thought witches had better survival skills than that. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. I feel your information's out of date. Molly no longer works here. Hey, where can I find her? Seem to know who Molly is. You also know she doesn't work here anymore. Know where I can find her, maybe? This time of day? Probably sipping punch and considering which horse to bet on. Not in the mood for jokes. I jest you not. After Arian's demise, Luis's nephew came to pay his respects. Got one clance of Molly and, well, they wed soon after. They now await his inheritance. With the Paranus's son dead, the estate will go to the nephew and Lady Lata, known until recently simply as Molly. She married for the gold? Gotta wonder if Molly fell for the nephew or his inheritance. We cannot know that just yet. But either way, she has strong feelings for both. Where can I find Molly? All right, so where'll I find the newly minted Lady Latar? Our dear little Molly has a new passion, horse racing. To my knowledge, she should be at Countess Vagelbud's villa right now. That's exactly where I'm going. Since you stripped me of Louise's company, perhaps you'd agree to come along. Eh, uh, sure. Well, if Molly will be there. On our way then. Hmm. Where's my trophy? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Auto cutscene. The Vigilbots estate. Okay. We've arrived. Nice place. I must say, of all the creatures in this region, I find steeds most intriguing. Horses interest you at all, Witcher? All the same to me. Call each one I ride Roach. Strange. Hm. The grey is Cantarella. I, th I thought it was actually one horse, but I'm only not. Ball. Yeah. Grey is a good color. Even looks good on horses. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrod. Purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. So, that wasn't fun apparently. Know much about the others? Know anything about the Chestnut or the Bay? The Chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood Retanian, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, difficult to control. And the Bay hails from Zericania. Lord de Volta acquired him recently. I know little about him. Though Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. Know a lot about horses? Seem to know your horses. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made mm. in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Fine. Hmm. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Ha! <laughs> Splendid! In that case, you must choose a mount. Mm, stamina. Think I'll give you a run on the Zeracanian Bay. Cantarella for me, then. The horses are saddled. Let's begin. Riders ready. 
Where the hell are we? I adore the speed, the rush of air. Now the drift. Come on. We'll start strong. Don't spare the horse. I won't. Getting some stamina back. Ah. Come on, Witcher. Let's see what you're made of. Move it. Okay, will this be enough? Not sure. I think we're nearing the end, but I'm out of stamina. Don't spare the horse. Yes. Did I make it? I think I did. The roach I chose put in a nice run. Exceptional. I've not lost a race in a while. I congratulate you. That is yours. Yoink. Ah, look. Lady Latar has just arrived. Who? The woman formerly known as Molly. There she stands. Right. Thanks. I shall be here for a time. Find me if you'd like to ride back to the city together. Okay, so, hmm, what's this, 50, hmm, it's better, I'll grab it, eh, worse, 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 let me just check the time, I think we need to cut, uh, yes, we'll ask uh, Lady Latard next episode, so thank you very much for watching, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and hit the bell button if you want to be notif notified when... I put out new videos, so I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.